Welcome back. Uh, when we stopped uh, in the last video, we were talking about <coughs> uh, that when x approaches negative 1 from the right, uh, when I'm saying x, I, ref I mean t. When t is approaching negative 1 from the right, this is from the right, this is what I mean, this is from the right, t would approach positive infinity. That means let us think of a number which is very close to negative 1. So I would say, let's say negative 0 0.999. Okay. So let's see what happens when t is, uh, let us get a calculator out. So we know the function is y, of course, you can say y is your r, r is t over, uh, let us go back to the question r is equal to t over, so this can be written as y is equal to, when we are putting this in the calculator, t over x plus 1. So let us get the calculator out. Sorry, I should have written 1 here. So let us get the calculator out. Okay, so uh, I am going to run. So it is 6 divided by negative 0 0.9999 plus 1 and let's see what happens this is 6000 okay so again so what happens if 6 divided by ne uh, negative 0 0.9999 plus 1. <clears throat> this is, this is 60,000, this is 600,000. So can you see what's happening? When t is approaching negative 1 from the right, okay, this is approaching negative 1 from the right, your y value is approaching positive infinity. Okay? And that's what we have graphed, that is approaching positive infinity. Okay. Now, I have made up a table to plot some neat negative points. So when x is say negative 7, so I, you can do it off your head, 6 divided by negative 7 plus 1, which is 6 divided by negative 6, which is negative 1. When t is negative 4, uh, this is 6 divided by negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3. Okay. And 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. And when you put negative 3, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So this is negative 3. And this is negative 6. So I have I already got this plot. I have already written these points. So these are the points that we drew 0, 6, 1, 3, 2, 2, 5, 1. That's a positive. So let us plot some uh, on this part second for to draw the second branch negative 7 negative 1 so this is negative 7 negative 1 okay let me use the blue color so this is negative 7 negative 1 and you've got negative 4 negative 2 that is this point okay and when x is negative 3 y is negative 3 and when it's negative 2 it is negative 6 and when x is approaching negative 1 from the right, I'll show that on, again on the calculator, your y value, which is your r, would approach to negative infinity. So let us graph it again with the red color. So, and this is approaching. We already, we already seen that when x approaching, when x approaches negative infinity, uh, y is approaching 0. Okay, so your graph would look like this. Join the points, keep joining. So I'll draw a little more. This will be approaching this line, which is uh, your, uh, this is your r. r. R would approach to infinity. So what did I say when x is your t is approaching 1 from the right hand side. So think of a number 
which is very close to negative 1 from the right. So I hope you can see this is this is negative 2, this is negative 1, so this is negative 0 point, negative 1.01, okay? And again, closer would be negative 1.01, then 0, 0, 001. So let's see what happens. Where is my calculator? This is my calculator. It's taking time, okay? Menu and run. So we know the function it is 6 divided by, I'll put that in the bracket, negative 1.01 plus 1. Okay? Because we are approaching negative 1 from the right. That is negative 600. So what happens? It is 6 divided by negative 1.001 plus 1. Negative 6000. I hope you can see the pattern. Let us do one more. Okay. So 6 divided by negative 1.0000001 plus 1. What will happen? That will be a huge negative number. So this is approaching to negative infinity. Okay. And that's what we are saying. This is approaching to negative infinity. So this is your, uh, this is again, let me go back to the graph and and go over it. So this is your t is equal to negative 1 is your vertical asymptote, r is equal to 0 is your horizontal asymptote, and uh, this is the two branches. Okay, so let us check the points on the calculator. We can also do this, the calculator. This is go to graph, menu, and go to graph. And I'm going to type in 6 divided by x plus 1. Okay, now to show that your vertical asymptote passes through negative 1, you can go to exit, then you go to type, and this is your constant. So I want to say x is equal to, say, negative 1. That will clearly show you the asymptote. Can you see? This is the asymptote. So if you want to check, you can't, your function is not defined at negative 1. So how can you check that? G solve and I want to find y when x is negative 1. The calculator will tell me it's not possible or not found. It's an error. Okay? So it's not defined at negative 1. Okay? And uh, what else? So let us do one more checking. G solve and let us calc. When x is 5, y should be 1. Y calc. When x is 5, y should be 1. That's fine. So hopefully these five videos have been helpful. Uh, keep working. See you in the next video. Thank you.